Right, I'm here today with Pod Bible editor Adam Richardson. How are you, Adam? You good? Good. I'm great. Very excited and to be here. Yeah, we're joined by this month's cover star, actor, director, dance innovator, social commentator, dickhead in recovery, bona fide baby girl, and of course the host of Say Your Mind, Kalechi Okafor. How are you, Kalechi? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for having me. Each time we talk, I'm trying to add things to your introduction. I because I just, I like it. But this is, uh, we've spoken a few times with Pod Bible, haven't we? So it's good to it's good to have you back. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I feel like so much has happened. I guess since the last time, mm-hmm. um, lots of viral moments because I think obviously we had like lockdown and yeah. everything else, and then yeah, just like various things have happened and lots of growth to be had and lots of lessons to be learned. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I feel like I revel in chaos. So yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, it's. Uh, I was having a look back because, of course, you came on the Pod Bible podcast. It was February 2020, so before the shit hit the fan. And, just before uh, as well, just before. Yeah, just before, literally. That was one of the last ones that we recorded actually in a studio. Um, and then you were in the magazine in, I think it was April, like issue eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so you're the first person. So you were like our secondary guest in that magazine, like the second interview and we had our cover star. The first person to then sort of go all the way to get straight onto that cover. So it's been, uh, I mean, that that reflects what a great year you've had, right? That must be a huge exactly. deal for you. <laughs> Tri- triple no, crown winner, it's, triple it's, crown. It's, yeah, it's great. I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I, I love chatting with you. Um, I yeah, I just, I just think it's great. It's great to be on the cover as well. To be doing that to learn about other podcasts through you as well. That's cool. really cool. Um, yeah that's really kind of enriched my sort of environment like the eco the ecosystem the podcasting kind of ecosystem is being enriched by pod bible i think that's one of the reasons we started it because i think it's so easy to get into your little your pocket of podcasts here's here's the two or three that kind of everyone you know listens to or 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 they all, all cross over and the idea of pod bible was exactly that to get a variation on and find things outside of your box and and push things there so yeah it's good to hear that well uh, before we get on to obviously the the the, the opening of your gift and the unveiling of the cover i Mm. wanted to ask you you said you kind of enjoy embracing the chaos um i wanted to ask you how podcasting has influenced your relationship with social media because something i feel i've noticed is there's a few times on social media recently where you'll be like i'll see you really going in and you'll be mid rant and it'll feel like there's a moment where you've gone you know what i'm going to go into this on the podcast instead (laughs) this isn't there isn't enough room here for me to get into this i'm going to hold off and do this properly and it's do you feel that's a, a, a part of your life now the balance between what i'm going at online and what I'm going into more depth on and and, and letting you hear the, the, the tone of my voice as I'm going in on it. Yeah, definitely. I think that there's something so unique about podcasting that it's really quite difficult to articulate. I feel that on the podcast, people have chosen to come to listen, right? I mean, you could say that people choose to come on your social media as well, but there's it's easier to, I guess, hate follow on social media. Yeah, It's possible to also hate listen, but you know, I don't know why anyone would want to spend their time in that way. So <laughs> ideally, the people who are listening to the podcast already honour you in one way, shape or form. Like they already care about your opinion. So then basically they give you more time to land. You know, like we say in Nigeria... I think, yes, specifically Nigeria, if you're trying to make a point and somebody's talking, 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 you're like, oh yeah, please, please, please let me land. And so it's that, like on podcasts, I get to land. Whereas on social media, before I've even said, ah, somebody's already come with a dissertation in my inbox about, <laughs> about what, what they think and what they know. Meanwhile, I was probably going to get into that in five frames time, but I need time to build my argument, you know, yeah. or to at least get my observations across. And also, I swear a lot. I swear a hell of a lot. And I'm really rather cheeky sometimes in the way that I describe people. So I feel that on social media, it's much easier for someone to kind of like report 
you. Mm. Whereas with podcasts, it's just kind of like, well, I said it. What can you do? I've said it. So yeah, I just prefer, I prefer podcasts because I feel like the people who are there already want to listen. And that's not always the case with social media, even if you feel like you've got all of these followers, not all of them are actually there to honour anything that you have to say. Yeah, and and, and I do feel sometimes, obviously debate is really important in this, this modern world, but sometimes you're not there to debate. If it's something that's affected you and you have personal experience of, you're there to share that. You're not, I'm, particularly if it's an emotional moment, I might not want to get into a discussion with you. I'm trying to share this with you and then we'll deal with a discussion at another point. I think that's the beauty of podcasting at points is it's yeah. a one way, you, you get to say your piece and there's no one interrupting going, well, to play devil's advocate. <laughs> so let's not play devil's advocate. Shall we not play devil's advocate? And let's play you listen to me and I'll make my point articulately. Yeah, I think that that's such an important point. I was thinking about that, the idea of the devil's advocate. Like The devil does not need any more advocates. Like The devil's not paying you, did not ask you. Leave the job role alone. But people will go and volunteer. Like They will do that stuff for free. They will intern happily for the devil. <laughs> and it's like, we don't need your opinion on it. And I, um, you know, I've said a few times on my socials as well, that I don't want to put have anyone under the illusion that my social media page is a democracy. It's not in, you know, I don't even feel like we know what a true democracy is really in yeah. our societies, yeah. but I'm not going to be one of those people that actually lie to you and make you feel like it is. It's a, like, it's a dictatorship. Like what I say goes. And <laughs> if you want to say something else, you can say it on your page. Like that's the point. Like you can have your opinions on your page. I have mine on my page. And of course, like debate is, um, is healthy it's how we all learn is how we all grow but sometimes i think that there are certain conversations like you say pip like there are some some conversations that is so um inhumane to try to debate them like how can you debate somebody else's humanity and we'll be talking about some of the most harrowing some of the most heartbreaking things that are happening to other humans around the world and somebody will be like well you know the immigration policies and we need to and it's like you what do you mean immigration policies when we're talking about people's lives mm -hmm. you know so that's why i prefer things like the podcast um space because i can say what i need to say and if you agree cool if you don't you can just shout into your empty room or you can go and record a podcast of your own i like it because uh, i know it's not necessarily your intention at all and for sure it isn't but uh, the fact it's kind of like the ultimate marketing tool for it for your <laughs> podcast as well because you know there are a lot of people who now are like how do i get people to listen to my podcast and it's like well, you create assets to share on social media little sound bites but just by you starting to talk about a subject uh, genuinely and then sort of being oh i've said too much I'll talk about this in the pod. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, I've got to listen. I've got to download. So yeah, it's That's great. actually true. That's, I see, <laughs> I just feel like I have this gift when it comes to like self-promotion or marketing myself <laughs> yeah. that it, it's just deeply innate, I guess. But again, I think it is that thing, like redirect people to where you are strongest. I think that mm. ultimately that's what I'm doing. Like it helps to get people to go and listen to the podcast. But actually for me, I don't know whether it's because of growing up in Peckham or being from a child of a formerly uh, colonized state. I need to play to my strengths and I need to ask to be in an environment where I have the upper hand in terms mm -hmm. of, you know, we would talk about level playing field. I just need us to be somewhere where I can be the dominant dynamic in that space. And the, the podcasting arena allows for that, you know? Um, and that's why I enjoy it because when it comes to say your mind, that's literally what's happening. Like I'm saying my mind and I try to do something where I get voice notes in now I've asked for them to be a minute long, but people don't like to listen to instructions. So um, <laughs> people can send in their voice notes about whatever they've seen that week that made them happy or not so much. And I play it because it's not just about me speaking necessarily upon all the things we've just said, but it's also about hearing what other people are now saying themselves now that they've kind of built up the confidence to do so. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, so, so how's podcasting been during the pandemic? Because... All my family are from South London, and South London, more than, than most of London, has always felt like 
it's so reliant on community and even more so the immigrant communities in South London feel so community based the pandemic sh- shut a, a lot of, of that down so did the podcast allow you to keep having that connection and that community and adding things like voice notes really makes it this this d- digital community that maybe a lot of people had lost from their lives because we were all locked indoors and so on and so forth Definitely. I think that that's what um, the podcast allows for me to do. I know that the only way that we're going to be able to make any true change in our society is from having a stronger sense of community, is from like seeing beyond just ourselves and understanding how the personal, for instance, is political. We can have nice things, we can have a good time, but we can still recognise that, rah, somebody over there is going through some things, how do I help with that and how do I speak up without speaking over, right? And so I think that in this age of buzzwords, so many people talk about like community, community, but really they're using it to kind of like heavily market things, right? Mm. Um, so they tell you that it's a community, but they're just chopping your money left, right, center. Whereas for me, I'm, I am really talking about community. I've grown up um, in an experience of feeling extremely lonely throughout the things that have happened to me in my life. And I wouldn't want to now... Uh, continue to exist in a society where I know that other people might still be feeling that way. So it's really showing like for me, showing the parts of me that other people might keep to themselves, showing that because I know that by somebody else hearing it or, you know, being able to listen to that sort of perspective or see me on socials doing the things that I do, it would allow them or kind of give, make them give themselves the permission to just live as wholly as possible. And when that happens, then we have more to relate with each other over and then we've got a stronger sense of community because it's got to move past like race class gender sexualities we've got to move beyond that at some point to get to the real reason of why we're all here Mm. i love that and i love the the realization of the the, of the the co-opting of all these words by companies by all sorts i was thinking the the other day i I was was looking in my wallet and i saw i'm not even going to say the particular supermarket but I saw the loyalty card I had and I thought, what a mad thing a loyalty card is. That, that's such dominant language and everything that they want me to be loyal to a brand, a supermarket. It's like, what is this? And I'm happily going along and eh, I'm loyal. <laughs> I'm loyal to you. I'm loyal to you. Don't forget I'm loyal to you. So why am I being loyal to a supermarket, a chain that doesn't give a shit about me? It's, it's weird. And they do that with a lot of the community things and all sorts of stuff like that where it's, no, you're a brand. This isn't you're co-opting these languages that are important to us as a as a community. But we need to to, to get on to gift opening. Adam, is, we is there anything that we need to do before that? One more thing. Sorry, Cletchy, yes. I'm sure you're like gagging to open up these gifts yeah. that you've had at your house for what? A couple of weeks now. And so I've not touched them and that has been really hard. No <laughs> peeking or squeezing. Nothing. Um, I wondered, uh, well, yeah, it's just something I, I thought about. We've, um, we do our Pod Bible poll winners every, um, at the end of each year. So we get people to vote on their favourite podcast and it's all voted for by listeners. And you've been nominated the last couple of years in, I think it's Society and Culture or one of the other categories. I just wondered, with some of the developments in your podcast and a lot of stuff you've been sharing on social media and things, events you've been going to, are we going to have to move you over to the sport category? Now you're talking about F1 all the time. <laughs> we might just have to. I'm coming for them all. I'm coming for all of their things. Just like they, eventually I might just have to add that as a category because people are now literally yeah. tweeting. Can't wait to hear what you have to say on Start Your Moto segment. Can't wait to hear what you have to say. So it might be a thing, but then I don't, you know, like I'm one of those people that I'm very scared of like committing to something because for instance, Lewis Hamilton, he signed with Mercedes, right? Up until 2023. Now I don't know how I'm going to feel about the sport after his contract finishes. If he decides not to extend past 2023, I mean, I would advise that he doesn't, but I'm not his manager. Um, So (laughs) so he might not do anything. (laughs) Yeah. So he might decide not to do anything after 2023. And I just wonder what shape that will then take in terms of Mm. uh, my interest. Like, would I want to be so loud about um, Formula One? But probably I would. I probably would. I probably would because, you know, I've been watching since like 2013 and been really focused on it then. And even at that point, I wasn't so avidly like Hamilton, Hamilton. I was just watching because I liked watching it. Um, it's only kind of like recent 
maybe the last couple of years that I've been more pro kind of like mm. Hamilton. So yeah, maybe after I'll probably continue or maybe by then I'll be the president of Formula One. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I love that in this in this in these times you've put an already hard to classify podcast even more unclassifiable it's it's always been a, a just listen now you're like well yeah there's there's tarot there's formula one um it's, it's, it's really it's hard the only to show that brings to, those to two let together. people know in advance just tune in okay just tune in yeah and i love that you found the sym Start your motors. You start your motors. I had to find another SYM and make it make it fit, and it works. It works. I mean, I, can't, yeah. I don't think I could take it outside the brand because I think somebody else might also use it. But in, within the podcast, within <laughs> yeah, the it podcast, works. it works. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I think we talked about that the last time. Like, when will there be a category that I can? fit into because otherwise i can't really go up in terms of you know everything these days is about algorithms yeah. but i'm kind of mm. there because if we say religion and spirituality that's which which is the other um category that i think that i'm in and i tend to do like really well in that category when i look at like the analytics and stuff but somebody will come and listen and be like oh my god religion and spirituality and then i'm effing and blinding all across the yeah. gap like what's gonna <laughs> happen <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you get interviews as well, of course, you know, the occasional interviews. So you yeah. can feature in there, but it's not every week. So, yeah. It's Just out idea. here. It's a good place Just to be. Just out here. Yeah. Indefinable. <laughs> I, l- I love it? it. Well, let's get to yes. the, the gift giving. Okay. Oh, there should be two. Oh, what should yeah. we start with, Adam? Oh, I don't know. Should we go for the cover? Which will be yeah, in there, in the, the tube that you've got. That's in the tube, okay. yes. So this is okay, going to be the illustration this. by our illustrator, uh, Dan Evans, who has done oh, every wow. single one of our covers. Um, wow. So yeah, hope, hopefully you like it. I love it. the covers. <laughs> <laughs> I know, be honest, Fletchy. <laughs> what the hell? No. <laughs> That's oh, not God. me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I love, I love gifts. My birthday's next week, Tuesday, so this is perfect. It's a lot of pressure for people watching. Oh you do. my god! Yeah. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! This is the most. <laughs> <laughs> what a reaction! No. Oh my! Wow! Wow! Yes! What a reaction! Wow, this is like the best birthday present ever. There we go, <laughs> early early present. Would you like to hold it up to camera a bit so the, the people can see? The there you are. I have show the people. Oh, wow. There you are. You've got your straws, you've got your mic. This needs to be my, no, but let's be serious now. Copyright and everything. This needs to be my logo. This needs to be my new podcast logo. It's big, right? Dan, the illustrator, would be more than happy for you to do that. He's not, he's not going to kick off. He'd love that. <laughs> well, there we go. Well, gift one has gone down very well. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can't wait to show this. I'm going to have to reactivate my Instagram for this. <laughs> Damn right. Well, let's oh, move on to incredible. gift number two. Okay, yeah. wow. Right, there, I don't know what we gifts. could... Oh, wow. I'm so excited. That is just everything. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much. Wow, feels like Christmas and everything together. (laughs) (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God! Sequence? I got sequins. Now, will it work? If you brush the sequins, it will change. Okay, I'm brushing. Oh, wow. Oh, so we're going the other way. Yeah. Oh, wow. For whatever mood you're in. Look at my voice going up like 17 million octaves. (laughs) Like, (laughs) you know so many creative people. Look at that. I've got it upside down. So, yeah, Yeah, so one way, depending depending on who's coming round, it can say, say your mind. (laughs) But... (laughs) If it's the we real ones, the catchphrase. if it's the yeah. real ones, it can say "suck your mum." So you know yes. we've got. Oh, we've got both this is extremes of Kalechi covered. <laughs> You've literally encapsulated my entire being, like with it, with the <laughs> with the poster, um, you know, with the cover and with this cushion. 
It's like the best. You know me so well. Wow. <laughs> My friends could please, never. They could never. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Well, there we go. I mean, we'll we'll end it there. Obviously, Say Your Mind is available on all podcast platforms and Pod Bible Magazine um, is available in digital form now at podbiblemag.com. And you can, as said, we've got a, you've seen the cover. We've got a great cover and a great interview with Kelechi. And that's, is, is, is that everything, Adam? I think I it always is, always check yeah. with Adam, because Adam's the real professional one. <laughs> Can I'm confirm, the god, I'm everything. the one that will ramble on. But you know. yeah, we, can't, we can't top the two gifts and the reactions, so I'm pl- really chuffed you like it. And yeah, everybody should go and, go and read the interview, podbiblemag.com. Thank you very much for your time, Kelechi. It's been a pleasure Thank as you. ever. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.